wrapping up with the scrimmage slash practice uh, of today. So for you college football fans out there, this was essentially like a spring game. Um, so this was unbelievable. Uh, first of all, I have to start off dog pound. What This fan base is unmatched. Um, there's nothing like uh, the Cleveland Browns fans. And uh, the fact that they were out there uh, this morning, you know, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock tailgating, uh, out in, you know, the pouring rain to uh, watch these players come in and support. And this has really been the first time in about a year or so, you know, that everybody's had access uh, to the stadium to be able to tailgate and uh, stuff like that. And we've seen the, the tremendous fan base support with, you know, training camp, uh, and the people that have been able to attend that. But this was outstanding. I mean, this was, you know, Baker said it. Um, I, I can't imagine any other team having this many fans there for a practice. Um, this is this is the Cleveland Browns fans. And when that Lombardi uh, is being held by Baker Mayfield, um, you know, the parade that follows is going to be millions and millions and millions of people and it's going to be incredible I cannot wait for that day uh, but nevertheless for this game unbelievable fan attendance uh, so as far as the game itself the scrimmage um, you know I'd be wrong if I didn't start off saying Donovan Peoples Jones has been beyond incredible like you can't put into words uh, the leap that he has had coming in this offseason this is his second year in the NFL uh, you know being a sixth round pick Urban Meyer talked about it. Uh, you know, he was a first-round talent. The kid was ranked higher than name your favorite receiver coming out of the draft a couple years ago. Donovan Peoples-Jones is this talented. Like, you know, I, I, I don't want to be the guy to say I told you so, but, you know, from day one, I said this kid is going to be incredible. There was a name that I wanted from that draft at wide receiver, and he was it. Um and we were able to get him in the sixth round, which is highway robbery. I, this is going to get looked at uh, as one of the biggest steals in the sixth round of all time. You know, we always talk about Tom Brady and we always talk about these kind of guys, you know, Antonio Brown. Um, this is another example. I think Donovan Peoples-Jones is that good. Uh, and I think this year especially, you know, what he brings to that wide receiver room, you know, he's got that, that wide receiver three spot. That is his. Uh, you know, we love Rashard Higgins. We love, you know, what he can do. Um, but Donovan Peoples-Jones is different. He is very different. And not even just from a talent standpoint. Look at his attributes. You know, he's a taller receiver. He's that physical, athletic uh, receiver. And he came into the offseason, got bigger, faster, stronger. Uh, so he's going to bring a different aspect to what the Browns can do offensively when it comes to their wide receiver core. Uh, Donovan Peoples-Jones has been outstanding. Every single practice today, he had highlight play uh, after highlight play, and he has and is currently uh, really stepping into a huge role with the Browns. I cannot wait to see his future. This kid's got an incredible future here in Cleveland with the Browns. This wide receiver core is you know, up in air as far as who's going to be here. Long term, excuse me, long term, um, you know, with Odo Beckham Jr. and Jarvis Landry. Donovan Peoples Jones is somebody who you have uh, under contract on his rookie deal for another three years for sure. Um, and he's a guy that's going to be here. So I see him taking that number one or number two receiver spot as soon as next season. So I uh, can't wait to see his growth. Uh, more from, from today. Um, you know, and it's something that I shouldn't have to say, uh, but given some of the reports coming out of a couple camp days, um, Baker looked sharp today. You know, I thought he looked pretty good. Uh, the ball was always, you know, where it needed to be. Austin Hooper had a really bad drop, wide open, hit him dead in the hands. Um, you hate to see that, but nevertheless, the ball was where it needed to be. Uh, and, you know, that's what you need to see from your starting quarterback. You know, there was a few reports out of camp saying that Baker struggled a bit, you know, which that's not the end of the world, but it's not the greatest thing to hear. Uh, so it's good to see him being sharp today. Uh, the other quarterbacks, I thought Case Keenum looked pretty good, you know, solid. 
Kyle Loletta, I think, is somebody who could, you know, he's still a young guy. Drafted um, to the Giants, I forget what round. He had some some high expectations. Um, so maybe he's potentially a long-term backup with the Browns. Who knows? So uh, I thought the quarterbacks looked pretty good today. Um, let's see. Defensively, Greg Newsome looks like Denzel Ward physically. Uh, they, they look like they're built from the same mold. I thought he looked really good. He had one play where he broke on the ball. Uh, you know, very impressive. I think he's going to be really, really good pretty early on this year. Um, and Jeremiah Wusu Koromoa, man, they talked about it a few times. Ken Carmen, Nathan Zagura, uh, but him breaking on the ball, you know, his speed, uh, is incredible. It seemed like as soon as the ball was in, uh, the receiver or the tight end or whatever's hands, JOK was right there, ready to light you up. And, um, you know, given the fact that this is a scrimmage, uh, you're not going to hit. But the fact that he was making plays, you know, coming off of the uh, the COVID reserve list, this is great to see. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, let's see. Delpit was out. Uh, Greedy was, if I'm not mistaken, was out. Or uh, he played very little. Um but, yeah, overall, I mean, everybody looked pretty good. Chubb and Hunt doing their thing. Um, so, Denzel Ward was out, and there was the uh, report coming out uh, today that he is the next one on the list as far as contracts uh, for the Browns that they're looking to get done. So, looks like Baker's contract's going to be pushed down the road to next year, which, you know, I personally think uh, is going to be a mistake because I think you're going to end up paying him a lot more next year. Uh, than if you were to get it done this year. But nevertheless, Denzel Ward appears to be next on the list of who needs paid, or who will get paid, I should say. Uh, so for the Browns, keeping Denzel Ward around would be great. He's been you know, dealing with some injuries throughout his NFL career, uh, but being the fourth pick in the 2018 draft, this guy has been uh, remarkable. You know, I think he has really lived up to that pick, Um it's just staying healthy. And I think now that he's got uh, people he can rely on in his cornerback room, you know, with uh, the drafting of Greg Newsome, Greedy Williams getting back healthy, Troy Hill, um, and more. A.J. Green has looked great throughout camp. I think for Denzel, that's going to take a lot of pressure off of him, um, you know, versus last year. Ton of injuries, guys in and out, uh, that put a lot more pressure on him. So I think this year – uh, he'll have an improved year compared to last year. Uh, and, you know, we'll see if his contract gets done before uh, the season starts. So that's something to pay attention to. Again, Baker looks like his is going to get pushed to next year. I know that's going to make some of you happy. Listen, you know, I know I'm the, the guy who's the big Baker believer, but I think you're just pushing your price up. Um, but, you know, it makes sense. I understand the argument he needs to prove uh, more maybe over the course of a full season you know Baker was incredible the back half of the year uh, but there's still some questions and um, you know with Odo Beckham Jr. their connection seems to be finally uh, getting somewhere you know maybe not the greatest it might not be like Devonte uh, and Aaron down there in Green Bay or up there in Green Bay I should say uh, but you know the fact that they are working on it and dedicated to getting it right says a lot to me so um, I think that's about it as far as the scrimmage today. David Njoku making plays. Uh, he could potentially be a really dark horse uh, star coming out of this season. You know, young guy, very talented. Um, you know, we'll see. I think it's just the offense is going to be what he's battling uh, in this scheme. So we'll see. Again, everything looked good today. No injuries. Um, you know, as far as I know, I did see – Somebody was walking off the field. Uh, I want to say maybe Curtis Weaver, but um, I I haven't heard anything too bad. So overall, good day. Fan base, outstanding. Uh, it's going to be an exciting season. So anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts and uh, what do you think about today's uh, scrimmage and what have you thought about camp so far? Let me know your thoughts and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.